Switching gears here, we had the Intercontinental Champion Curtis Axel take on Dolph Ziggler in non-championship action with the title not on the line. Um, this is a good matchup, but the fans were just not into it. Curtis Axel, like I said before, is just not over. Whereas Ziggler is over, just creative has nothing to do with this character. They have they have zero idea how to handle this guy. I mean, the guy that cashed in Money in the Bank to a massive ovation, one night removed from WrestleMania 29, and now they have nothing to do with him. I have zero idea why. Um, there's plenty of things they could be doing with him. He could have been back in the world title picture by now, but he's not. He's facing Curtis Axel. And I think the worst part about this was the fact that even after... Uh, even after Dolph Ziggler won, the commentators didn't treat this match like a big deal. I mean, the Intercontinental Champion should be getting pinned, should be treated like a big deal. I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened, so maybe this is just a pointless rant. But, I mean, come on. The IC title, if you want to make it feel prestigious, you have to stress the fact that Dolph Ziggler just beat the IC Champion. Whether he's in title contention or not is beyond me. I have zero idea. Personally, I do not want to see Ziggler contend for the IC title. Like I said, when he was contending for the U.S. title a couple weeks ago, or a few months ago, I should say, I have zero desire to see a mid-card title around the waist of Dolph Ziggler. He should be wearing world title gold at this point. It's just ridiculous that WWE continually put, uh, punishes this guy for what he says in interviews and whatever. Now they're just burying him. I mean, granted, he beat Axel, but... At this point in time, what does that even mean? You know, Curtis Axel's fallen far. I mean, he once defeated Triple H, he defeated Jericho, he defeated Cena on multiple on, on, on multiple occasions. So, what you do with him, I have zero idea. You need to get the title off him as soon as possible. And it's not Ziggler. I don't think Ziggler's the right guy to take the title off of uh, Curtis Axel. Maybe this leads to something down the line. Maybe this is just WWE putting them in a random matchup. But, you know, even still, though... A uh, good match for what it was with Dolph Ziggler going over.